गेट रेडी टेन सेकेंड्स फाइव सेकेंड्स स्टार्ट द मेन पर्पज ऑफ दिस बेल इज टू प्रोवाइड मोर फैसिलिटीज फॉर रूरल एग्रीकल्चरल क्रेडिट बाय द रिजर्व बैंक ऑफ इंडिया आई थिंक इट वुड बी प्रॉपर फॉर मी टू गिव ए बैकग्राउंड ऑफ द एक्टिविटीज ऑफ द रिजर्व बैंक ऑफ इंडिया इन दिस डायरेक्शन practically from the beginning of the reserve bank this was one of the main fields of activities of the reserve bank in 1935 the rural credit branch of the reserve bank was started with three separate sections including research and statistics since then it has been going on expanding its activities as regards the provision of facilities for agricultural and rural credit when last time the reserve bank act was passed in 2000 some honorable members raised the question of further expanding the activities of the reserve bank in the field of rural and agricultural credit facilities the finance minister gave a sort of assurance that he would get this matter examined and if possible a further amendment of the reserve bank act would be effected so that the reserve bank might give greater rural credit in pursuance of that assurance of the finance minister the reserve bank set up an informal committee in 2001 to examine this matter it was a committee of experts and i think professor gardgill presided over it this informal committee of economists made certain recommendations and these may be broadly categorized as those requiring amendment of the reserve bank act and others were of an administrative character and did not need any legislative measures the reserve bank naturally examined these recommendations and gave effect to some of the recommendations which did not require any amendment of the reserve bank act in this case the reserve bank has undertaken a comprehensive survey on all india basis into the present conditions and requirements of rural finance a standing advisory committee has been set up to advise the reserve bank on matters pertaining to agricultural credit with a view to rendering the bank's activities in respect of agricultural credit increasingly effective the reserve bank is giving active assistance to the state governments in tackling problems of rural credit particularly in regions which are comparatively less developed i think honorable members would recall that under these provisions the reserve bank has already advanced to the tune of rupees 12 crores that is done under section 17 of the reserve bank act certain other activities are to be undertaken now and it has been decided to amend the act accordingly in the present amending bill we want to widen the scope of seasonal agricultural operations then we are providing here for loans for cottage and small scale industries so long the reserve bank was not advancing any money for small scale or cottage industries the house will recollect that for some time now particularly in view of the developing problem of unemployment government have decided 
to give more emphasis to cottage and small scale industries so the reserve bank would now be in a position to provide funds for this sort of industry also and that is to be done through the state cooperative banks and also state finance corporations very recently in this house a question was asked about the activities and formation of state finance corporations about 2 years ago an act was passed by the house enabling the different state governments to set up state finance corporations but as yet not much progress has been made in this matter by the different states i hope that under this provision the state finance corporations would be in a position to get loans from the reserve bank it will be a fresh impetus to the different state governments towards the formation of state finance corporations in this bill we are also trying to provide intermediate loans through state cooperative banks from 15 months to 5 years so long it was only a short term loan that was provided by the reserve bank for seasonal agricultural operations and loans could be advanced only for 3 months but now we are providing in this bill that medium term loans also may be given by the reserve bank through the state cooperative banks and the period of such advances would vary from 15 months to 5 years the limit up to which the reserve bank could advance to state cooperative banks is rupees 5 crores then there is another provision by which the reserve bank could advance loans to the industrial finance corporation sometime ago this house passed an amendment to the industrial finance corporation act which in section 20 provided that the corporation would be entitled to get loans from the reserve bank that was only so far as the responsibility of the industrial finance corporation was concerned but there was no corresponding provision in the reserve bank of india act authorizing the bank to advance loans to the industrial finance corporation though for some time it was advancing some money to the corporation